Hi, John Evan Hughes with Travari, and I'm going to be teaching some virtual cooking classes this week. Uh, for those of you who have taken my Thai cooking class in the past, um, I gave you guys some ribs to eat at the beginning, but I never showed you how to cook them. So that's what I'm going to be doing this time is teaching you how to cook my famous sticky ribs. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the rub and marinate, dry marinate the, uh, the baby back ribs. These are baby back ribs I got at Safeway. You can get them at Costco, Super One, any fine establishment. Um, and you want to take a spoon with the rub mix, which here's the recipe. You take the spice mix and you're going to want to just sprinkle it on liberally. Um, you want to put quite a bit on. Oh, and I've also laid down some plastic wrap, so you're gonna wrap these. It's gonna make it nice and easy to, uh, to wrap. You wanna do both sides. Now, if you can, make sure to try to maybe wear gloves when you do this, but I don't have any gloves at home right now because it's really hard to find gloves right now. Um, but you wanna just rub it into the meat, okay? Okay. You're gonna take your plastic wrap and put it over the ribs. And what I like to do is just make it like a little envelope. Seal her up. You probably wanna double wrap this. I wish I had to do that, but you wanna double wrap it. And then you're gonna put it in the fridge overnight. Okay, so the ribs have been in the refrigerator overnight, um, marinating. Take them out of their little plastic wrap, and I put them on a lined, um, lined cookie sheet with a roasting rack in it. Um, and we're going to put a little more of the seasoning on it. And I'm going to put it into a 275 degree oven. for about three hours. Okay, so the ribs are ready to come out of the oven and we're gonna do the next step, which is um, we're gonna wrap them for about an hour. They've been in the oven now for about three or four hours uh, at 275, we're gonna wrap them, put some sauce on them, um, and we'll go from there. Of two bottled sauces. I know you're saying bottled sauces, but come on, every once in a while they're, they're really good. The one on the left is Johnny's firecracker sauce, and you can get that at Safeway, um, Super One, many fine establishments. Um, and the other one is from Fix Hot Sauce. Uh, it's it's sriracha, lemongrass, and it's really flipping crazy hot, but it's also some of the best stuff you'll ever have. Um, you can get them online at fixhotsauces.com. I think that's what it is but I'll look it up and make sure it's it's correct before I edit this. Okay, so the ribs have come out of the oven after cooking for about three hours, three and a half hours um, at 275. I put that seasoning mix on it, as you can see, and now we're gonna sauce it. I'm gonna sauce both sides because I want to have as much flavor as possible. So I turn the ribs over, pour some of the sauce on, about that much, and then I use a pastry brush and just with the pastry brush, just dab it on there. This is hard to film and do it at the, at the same time. I think you guys get the idea. Top down, or I flip the ribs over, and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna brush the sauce on, and um, and then we're gonna cover them. Okay, so, seal those with foil really tightly. You want them to steam right now for about the next hour. I have it in at 275. And I'll see you in about an hour. It's been about an hour and the ribs are now out of the oven. Taking the top off. Ooh, look at those guys. Perfect. And you see right here, that means that these guys are almost done because the bone is starting to pull away from the, from the meat. Good stuff. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some more sauce on. And we're going to dab that in, and then we're gonna throw it in the broiler for a couple of minutes. Put these into the broiler. I have it roaring hot in here. Um, 
as you can see. And you're gonna broil until they're nice and crispy on top. Okay, so this has been going on for probably about, I don't know, three or four minutes. And this is what we got. Okay, so the ribs were out of the oven and now you wanna slice them into individual ribs. These are fall off the bone good right now. Look at those guys. Good. Oh, that's good. So here's the ribs. I like to put some sesame seeds on them and something green, like green onions or cilantro. Enjoy. Hope you loved those ribs. They are delicious. Um, if you like those ribs a lot, you're gonna love my Thai cooking class, which I will be teaching in the near future at Tavare. And uh, stay safe, stay well. Look forward to seeing you soon.